the Strodes enter today's matchup with an 11 game winning streak on the line. They'll try to notch their 12th straight next. Now at the plate, Kenny Lofton, and we are set for baseball here this evening. Here comes the first pitch. The short hit hard, scooped up on the backhand, and that's the first down. Now here's a look at the Astros starting lineup. Who stands out to you, Danny? Well, fellas, there's nobody that I'm more excited to watch play than Carlos Correa. Go look at the numbers. He hit over 310 last year and was consistent most of the year. I'm looking forward to him having another solid campaign. So striding in, Jose Altuve. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. Hot shot on the ground is short, and this is going to find its way into left for a one-out knock. He wasn't letting that one go. Jumped on the first pitch right there and drove it into the outfield for a base. Carlos. Here's Carlos Correa now. Last night was a good one for him as he turned in a four-for-five effort. Back in standing. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Stung into the gap in right center for what should be extra bases. Altuve is on his way home. And now this is thrown wildly, just getting it into the infield. And he will score now from first. And the throwing mistake there, getting the ball in, is going to wind up costing him. Well, there's one way to get our first run of the game across. Good hustle there on an RBI triple. And they're in good shape to possibly make it 2-0 with another base hit here. Into the box, Will Clark. As he sends it on the ground to first. Vargas takes it in. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the second out. But meanwhile, the run is in to score. Here's George Springer. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Line drive, and that's a base hit into center field. Hey, Dero, are you aware of this? After that knock right there, that's an 11 game hitting streak. You think he knows it's at 11? I think he knows exactly that it's at 11. It starts off innocent. You just want to get a few knocks to get the hitting coach off your back. Next thing you know, you wake up, you've been sleeping easy for almost a week, eight days. Now we're on 11. This guy's thinner tastes different. goes for third pitches a cold strike the throw is not close as he's in there with a stolen base well that definitely caught me off guard there that wasn't exactly the typical steal situation with two outs and a runner on second I can't say I agree with the strategy but at the same time now he can score a lot of different ways Springer at third with two away Pulled toward right center field. Buxton giving chase. He gets there to make the play, and that ends the inning. So it's two runs on three hits, no errors, and a runner left on. We'll move on to the bottom half of inning number one. It's the Astros two, and the Twins coming to bat. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Dallas Keuchel will be on the mound for the Strohs. What's your take on him, Dan? Dallas Keuchel is a complete pitcher. He's kind of a throwback to a Jimmy Key kind of pitcher, a Tom Glavin type, not overpowering, 89 to 91 miles an hour with sink. Has the curveball, has the slider, and the straight changeup. What makes Dallas Keuchel so good, he'll throw all four of his pitches at any point in the count. 
Jorge Polanco. Here's a cold strike about thigh high, nothing in one. The wind up and the 0-2 pitch. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Here's Brian Dozier now. First cuts for him here with the bases open and two away. Starts him out with a slider for a strike. Ground ball right into the shift. Throw in time and the side is retired. Down go the Twins in order. They're still down. It's 2-0. Now in the box, Alex Bregman. And he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. Pitch on the way. Now a swing and a miss. Took something off that one, and it's strike one. And guys, as we take a look at the Twins at the start of play here tonight, fair to say they're not playing their best baseball right now. Losers of five of their last six. Yeah, Matty V. Hey, Dero, talk about a team that's scuffling right now. I had a chance to talk to the manager before the game. He's not happy. The players aren't happy. Yeah, and just the malaise has kind of come over this clubhouse. We had a chance, like he said, to walk through it a little bit. The boys are not jumping around. This is a big game today. Boy, after that face knock right there, Dero, he extends his hitting streak to seven games. Yeah, and you can tell he's made some necessary adjustments at the plate. Anytime you get. And hold on there. That's not going to get him in there with the stolen base. You know, I was pretty surprised to see him on the move to third because it didn't seem like he had that much of a lead, but he made it work out. That was really impressive. The 0 1 on its way. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Buxton has a beat on it. He gets there to make the catch, but this should bring home a run as the runner tags from third. And that'll bring home run number three. It's now a three nothing cushion. Great job there by this power hitter known for driving the ball out of the ballpark does the job right there with the sack fly and brings the run home. Evan Gaddis now standing in and he's definitely off to a fast start in the early part of the season. First offering on its way. Hit hard down the line. Uh, this is foul for the first strike. Clean slate on the base pass after that sack fly a minute ago. So now's the time to be aggressive with these hitters. Go right after them and try to get out of this inning with only one run scored. Popped him up. Vargas on the move. He gets there and makes a fine running play for the second out. The batter number seven. Now the Astros designated hitter Kenny Lofton second appearance here he grounded out to start the ball game. Pitch on the way. That's lifted the other way out to left on the move is Rosario. He gets there to make the play and that ends the inning. So one run on one hit no errors and no one left on now to the bottom of the second. It's the Astros three and the Twins nothing. Here's Miguel Sano and he's looking to get it going Leading off to a bit of a slow start this year. Hey we're still in the early stages in this one. They're only down by a couple of runs but it's really key for this leadoff guy to try to get on and get a big inning started. Takes a knee high fastball. These are the at bats that can just flat out frustrate you. You go up there with a plan to work the count and now you find yourself down 0 2 scratching your head because every quadrant's open for the pitcher now. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Miguel Sano is dealt with for the first out in the bottom of the inning. And quickly there are two away. In now Kenny's Vargas. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Two out nobody on. And he gets him to swing through that one. He's in control 0 and 2. 
Hey, this boy ain't messing around right now. Attacking his zone, showing a lot of confidence in his stuff. He's got two quick outs, and now he's got this guy down 0-2. Swing and a miss. He struck him out with a two-seamer, and the inning is over. Stepping into the box, Jose Altuve. As we are all set to begin the third inning in this one. Now the pitch. Very weakly on the ground. That rolls foul for strike one. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. Hard liner to center field. And a base hit, so the leadoff man is on to begin the inning. Not in time, and he's in there with a double. It just goes to show if you're going to throw that two seam fastball away, which I don't think is the best pitch anyway. You better start that thing out of the zone and let it work its way back to the corner. With this one, it started out on the corner, so it leaked back right over the heart of the plate and got whacked. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. Drilled on the ground is short. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile, the runner is in to score. And here with the infield back, they were giving him the run on a ground ball, so he just takes advantage of that and drives the run home. Good approach. Digging in for his second at bat, Will Clark. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First offering on its way. Chance here for Dozier at second. In time to first, and there are two away. Not a lot you can do with that pitch. That fastball just ate him up inside and gets the soft grounder for the out. Here's George Springer, a base hit in his first trip. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Sports to third. That's through for a base hit. He's now two for two in this one. And now he'll get into scoring position with two away. Sometimes you got to pull out the ambush uh -huh. tactic. You don't know what the best pitch is going to be. Oh, oh, right there. Get me a knock through the left side. Stepping in is Josh Reddick. Pitch outside the throw it is going to be far too late. That's a stolen base. Pretty unusual decision to swipe third with two outs in the inning. It's a big risk, especially with the lefty hitter up there. And the benefit isn't all that great, but he made it work out. Springer on third with two out. High in the air down the right field line. And he will make the catch just shy of the track, and the inning is over. Astros plate one on a couple of hits. We'll move on to the bottom of inning number three. The Astros on top, four to nothing. Here's Robbie Grossman, seven, eight, and nine to start the home third. Not much going on offensively so far for these guys. Six up, six down. We'll see if the bottom part of the lineup can get something going. Well, the home crowd seems a little restless, so I'm sure they'd appreciate it. A ball of no strikes. Grossman, 28 years old. He was taken in the sixth round during the 2008 draft. Hey, nothing has been handed to this guy. Drafted in the middle rounds, and he has found his way in the big leagues. This has turned out to be a really nice pick. The 1 0 is swung on and missed in that strike one. 
Well, they'll run this one in on him, and he can't connect, so he finds himself down one and two now. Two things pitchers really love, called strike threes and jamming hitters. How about that? Talk about that jam right there. That's about as good as it gets. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Robbie Grossman is dealt with for the first out in the bottom of the inning. The fastball here is he'll take a look at ball one, one and oh. Swing and a miss as he ramps up on the fastball one and one. Hey, that's another nice two seamer right there. He's been able to manipulate that pitch all game, keeping it at the hollow of the knee, getting a lot of ground balls and a lot of swing and miss. There to play it is Springer, and that's out number two. Batting ninth, right fielder, Max Kepler. Max Kepler, the next to grab a bat. Two away in the inning, and Dan, it looks like this could be another one, two, three inning for him. Yeah, he has really found a groove on the mound, and it's been impressive to watch. It'll be interesting to see how long he can keep this dominance up. ready here's the first offering lifted the other way out to left center Gonzalez has a read on it and that retires the side now to the plate Alex Bregman he'll try to get it going here to begin the fourth here's the first pitch to him there's a swing and a high drive into left center field Buxton ranging back to the track on the warning track, he makes the catch. How about it? Left fielder. Here's Marwin, Marwin Gonzalez now. Picked up an RBI on a sack fly in his first appearance. First delivery to him on the way. Hit hard on the ground to the right. On to first, and that is two quick outs to start the port. At the plate, Evan Gaddis. He popped out in his first trip. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Line drive to left. Rosario is there, and it's a three pitch. Third baseman in tight, protecting the bunt, the first pitch. In there, and it's 0 and 1. Wow, there's a pitch right there that this guy would like to have back. Very rarely you see a pitcher of this quality throw one right down the middle, and boy, he took that one. He'd like to have that one back and be able to take a good hack at that pitch. Striding in, Jorge Polanco. He's 0 for 1 thus far. 4 1. No runs, no hits, and no errors in the ballgame for Minnesota. Swing and a miss, 1 and 1. A ball and two strikes to the Twins shortstop. And the slider gets him swinging to gone. Here's Brian Dozier now. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. And a called strike down in the zone. Nothing in one. Called strike on the outside part of the plate. 0 and 2. There seem to be different philosophies on it. So, Dan, what was your approach at 0 2 counts? My philosophy is there. Well, the play's been made, and that retires the side. 
Ready once again, Kenny Lofton. He flew out in his last at bat. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. That's lifted the other way out to left. Rosario is right there, and it's a very quick out number one. So digging in now, Jose Altuve who came across to score after doubling in his last at bat. This is line to left. Again, a nice clean base hit, his third of the game. I mean, there's no secret right now. There's a fight at the bat rack. Everybody wants up at the plate right now. They're feeling risky. They're all pulling the trigger early, and it's working. First pitch on its way. Slider, and it's off his glove, and it bounces away. And he'll make it in easily at second, as I'd imagine that'll be scored a passed ball. The 0 1 on its way. Pitch outside the throw. Not in time as he just does get in there ahead of the throw. The 1 1 is offered at and missed. He chased it for strike two. I'm pretty surprised by the location on those last three pitches. The book on him is that he hits the way pitch pretty well, and he just saw three in a row out there. So does he go back out there again? No, Matt. I expect him to mix it up. Most catchers won't call for the single. They'll cash in here as the run is in to score from third. Hey, good job of hitting right there, Diva. A runner on third, less than two outs. All you want to do is put the ball in play. He did just that. Hits a grounder right up the middle that drives in a run. Yeah, took it right back at where it came from. All you're trying to do is avoid the corners. Hit something hard up the middle, whether it be on the ground or in the air. You're going to drive the run. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. Astros plate one on a couple of hits. Here's Miguel Sano. He leads off from the bottom of the fifth as they look to break through on the scoreboard for the first time in this one. Yeah, baseball is a game of adjustments, and it's time they start making some. They don't need to change their entire approach necessarily, but now is maybe when they start thinking about ways to get the guy in the mound out of his rhythm a bit. And there's one away. So stepping in, Eddie Rosario. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Ball one. No runs, no hits, and no errors in the ballgame for Minnesota. Popped him up. Correa over to his right. Makes the play, and there are two gone now. Into the box, Kenny Vargas. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. First pitch hacking here, and that's the first strike. All bets are off for the offense right now. This guy's got a low pitch count. He's attacking the zone. They have to get more aggressive. This guy's not going anywhere. A ball and two strikes to count now with the bases empty and two away. Hey, this guy is one strike away from absolutely cruising through the first five innings. No need to even warm up the bullpen the way this guy's pounding the zone. The plate now is the designated hitter. Robbie Grossman comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. One ball, no strikes to count. High fly ball out to straightaway center. Springer has a read on it. No trouble with this one, and the inning is over. Ryan Presley takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Into the box now, George Springer. Two hits and two trips for him thus far. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. High in the air out to center field. Buxton has a beat on it. One away. Up next for the Astro. Right fielder, Josh Reddick. At the plate, Josh Reddick. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. First pitch of the at bat. And not the greatest of starts to the at bat as he reaches for one out of the zone for strike one. High in the air and drifting out to shallow center. Buxton moving in. He makes the running play. Two down. And that'll bring up the former first rounder, Alex Bregman. 
One for two with a double on the ledger so far. First pitch coming. Here it is. On the screws to shortstop, but caught to retire. Now batting, Mitch Garver to start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non-existent to date. No doubt about that, Matt. They've been completely overmatched to this point. One hit through five innings. I mean, what else can you say about the pitching they faced other than it's been fantastic? We'll see if that continues as we approach the later inning. One and two to the Twins catcher. Fouled away. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first down. Digging in, Max Kepler. 0 for 1 for him here in this one. Missed with a slider. One out, nobody on. There's a fastball right over the inside corner. You know, from an offensive standpoint, they already knew they had their work cut out for him against a great pitcher, but if he's going to locate like that, this is going to be a tough day. Just got a piece up the line. That's a foul ball. Hit back up the middle. And there's out number two. Here's Byron Buxton now. First delivery to him on the way. Tap down the line. Throw on to first, gets him, and the side is retired. Digging in the switch hitter, Marwin Gonzalez. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Here comes the first pitch. This is pulled into right. And that's a base hit. One for two in his first couple of plate appearances. So the Astros put a man aboard to get the inning underway. Now with the plate, Evan Gaddis. He lined out in his last trip, so looking for better fortunes here. There we go. In there. Now the throw. Way late, and he's in there easily at second. Gonzalez leads on second with nobody out. Bullet back up the middle. Catch made out there in center field as the runner will tag from second. And he's safe. So the lineup flips over and digging in Kenny Lofton. He's hitless in three at bats to this point. First pitch of the at bat. Slow grounder to first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the second out, but meanwhile, the run is in to score. Stepping up to the plate, Jose Altuve. He singled his last time up. From the stretch. Line drive, base hit into the left center field gap. And he'll pull into second with his fourth hit of the ball game. Some guys just lay back and watch that first pitch go by no matter what. Work the count, make the pitcher waste a few pitches. But when he serves up a fastball like this on the first pitch, it's hard not to go after it. And that's just what he does. He's jumped all over. It skips in and he's safe. Close play, but he's in there. Oh, this kind of goes against those unwritten rules of baseball. They're leading big, so there's really no reason for them to steal third right there. And I'm not sure that was taken too kindly in the opposing dugout. Throw to first in plenty of time, and the side is retired. Now with the play, Jorge Polanco. He went down on strikes last time up. Starting to run out of time. They haven't been able to score any runs as we're moving late into this one. A perfect time for this leadoff guy to try to get on base and ignite a rally. On, he just ramps up and gears the fastball by him. 0 oh, and 2. High pop up. Keichel waits on it. And he hauls it in for the first out of the inning. First pitch coming. Here it is. Drilled to the right side. And he'll step on first himself for the out. Here's Miguel Sano. He was a ground out victim last time up. Lays off one and zero. Bases are empty here with two men out. Ball and a strike. That was a good swing right there. Might be the best one he's had all night because he was right on it. 
And it's fouled away. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Turned on that one and crushed it. Just pulled it a little foul. Two and two. Playing two out, two. nobody on. And he struck him out. His seventh of the ball game, and that ends the end. So here's the cleanup hitter, Will Clark. He was a double play victim last time around. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Lifted in the air out towards left center. On the move is Rosario. He's got it one away. Here's George Springer. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. From the stretch, here's the pitch. Line towards center field. And he will run this one down, moving to his left, and that's the second out of the inning. Right fielder. Stepping in is Josh Reddick. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Swing and a soft liner. Throw on to first. A three pitch. Digging in to try it again. Eddie Rosario. We're in the eighth now, and nothing's changed out there on the mound. Well, I've been very impressed with how the starter's going about his business, Pat. He's looked really sharp. And it's hard to know if it's had any effect, but getting that early lead from his offense could have really helped settle him in. And he struck him out, and that's eight strikeouts thus far. Digging in and looking for more, Kenny Vargas. It was a single for him in his last at bat. Bases are empty, one man out. Swing and a miss, and he's in the hole 0-2 now. He's feeling it out there on the mound, just getting the ball and throwing it with a lot of confidence right now. And there are two away now. now Stepping in and ready for another shot, Robbie Grossman. Third trip to the plate for him here tonight. 0 for 2 at this point. 0-1 the count. That's out to left. Does he have another 1-2-3 inning? He most certainly does. Ten straight, he's retired. Now. Fernando Rodney enters the game from the pen, and because this is a non-save situation, it's evident that they're just trying to get him some work after having not thrown in several days. Yeah, and this is all about just getting him some work, guys. He hasn't had a chance to come in and close the game out for several days now, so they're just hoping they can keep him sharp and give him the chance to pitch in a real game situation here. Reaches down and hits this one on the ground to short. And the throw is not going to be in time as he's able to reach base safely. Now batting. Here's Marwin Gonzalez now. He reached on a single last time and later wound up scoring. There goes Bregman off a of first. That's a strike to throw down. And it skips in as he steals the bag easily. Runner breaks for third. Pitch inside the throw. He's in there easily as the throw bounces on the way down. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Rosario is there. He makes the catch. Here comes the runner from third. And he will get in to score, and it's a run batted in on the sacrifice fly. Hey, every pitcher likes to have some run scored for him, but particularly when you're throwing as well as he is tonight, and he gets another insurance run on top of it. Evan Gaddis now standing in. His past history with Fernando Rodney. He's hitless in three at-bats. The wind-up and the 0-1. Lifted in the air to center field. Kepler's there for it. Two down. Stepping up now, Kenny Lofton. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. Rodney's ready. Here comes the first pitch. Lifted in the air to straightaway center. Buxton will get there, and he puts it away to retire the side. 
settling in now. Mitch Garver starting things for his side Bring in the ninth the as they the face the point. improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. Into the windup, here comes the 0-2 pitch. Oh, they really bunch him up on that one as he swings and misses for the first out. Max Kepler the next to grab a bat. He started out the evening 0 for 2 so far. Missed with a slider. Fastball got him to swing through it. It's one and one. One out, nobody on. And he fouls this one off. And he struck him out. The tenth victim set down on strikes thus far. Here's Byron Buxton now. He's their last shot here with two away in the ninth as they look to avoid the shutout. Yeah, Matt, they just haven't had any answer for the great pitching so far in this one. And he'll put this one away for the final out, and the Astros will add one more to their winning streak as this ball game is over. Hey, not many pitchers can brag about throwing a one-hit complete game, so hats off for him.